what's going on, guilty guys and gals? We're literally exactly where we were last time, but I gotta beat this guy Raihan, because you know what? I looked up his levels, got spoiled to one Pokemon in his team. Guess which Pokemon it was? Flygon. Yep, he has a Flygon. Okay. So, <laughs> can we talk about that? Why's he got a Flygon, huh? Why's he got a Flygon? Anybody want to tell me? No? Nobody's got an answer? Okay, well, we're going to go beat him up with my Flygon, because my Flygon is superior to his Flygon, all right? And uh, nobody can stop me. We're going to give Flygon the Choice Scarf, <laughs> just so he can outspeed everything. We're just going to one-shot all the Gym Trainers Pokemon with uh, Draco Meteor, or Dragon Claw, depending on how I think, uh, how weak they are. <laughs> and then we're going to beat this guy in his own game, because he's trying to beat me in my own game. And my own game is having Flygon. <laughs> He doesn't need the Eevee light anymore anyway. Alright, let's do this thing. <laughs> I'm so done with this man. Actually, you know what? I've got to change out of my winter clothes. We're in the nice hot Hammerlock City now. Oh, that I don't do that here. I have to go to a place with a... a, a to go to a store to do that. Which is kind of weird. <laughs> but I guess it's fine. I wish the Pokemon Center did have a changing room, though. That'd be nice. Wrong button. Okay. <clears throat> I guess. Update that old lead guard. Okay, we're back to uh, back to basics. Let's get this done. This man thinks he can roll up on my turf with my Pokemon. No, no, no. This is a this is this is a grudge match now. This is a grudge match. I don't care about anything other than beating this man in his own game. The long gym challenge is nearing its end, I see. Are you ready to face Hammerlock Jim and its leader, the dragon user Raihan? Yeah. In that case, please use the changing room. Yeah, I'll do it. I don't know where the changing room is in this building. The uniform you wear is a symbol of all your victories. I feel your determination. Now head to where all the gym trainers await. No, not the stadium, but the vault. What? Excuse me? Why are we going to the vault? You want me to... Damage all your precious antiques or something? I can do that for you. <laughs> I'm in a bit of a mood. I can probably pull it off quite easily. Is there no gym tra trainers? Let's see. How many gym challengers are left? Huh, not even ten, eh? All right, then. Guilty. Time to explain the great Ryan's gym mission. Rules are simple. All you gotta do is defeat three tra gym trainers I personally trained in double battles. Uh, what? The gym challenge is meant to be, well, challenging, wouldn't you say? Naturally, there aren't too many gym challengers who actually make it this far. And that's why I provide a format where you can really show off the brilliant combinations you and your Pokemon should be capable of. That's probably more than enough out of me. Time for someone else to take the spotlight. Come on, Sebastian, you'll be first. My name's Sebastian. Uh, Yeah, that's me, Sebastian. Gym leader Raihan has taught me two things. First, dragon types are ferociously powerful. Second, I need to create an advantage on the battlefield to fully utilize that power. What does that mean, <laughs> Sebastian? Hmm? Hmm? Wanna tell me? Wait, what? That's that that's that's only one dragon type. That other one is not a dragon type, and it is in fact a big problem. <laughs> Okay, so we're not gonna freaking scarf ourselves into Draco Meteor because this is this is a big problem. See, I guess Mudsdale can support us fairly well. Yeah, Sligoo is gone. <laughs> we probably would have been faster than that thing anyway, but I think Pelipper would have outsped us probably. Oh, and Tailwind. Well, that's super helpful now that your other Pokemon's gone, huh? <laughs> and we've got Choice Scarf. I think this guy might have been outclassed by our superior tactics. How do you think? Look at that smug grin. Who does he think he is, eh? <laughs> oh, yeah. He's going to water pulse my Mudsdale? No, you're going to water pulse guilt, because why wouldn't you? <laughs> Good thing it doesn't matter. Of course he tried to drizzle for his Sligoo. Of course he did. <laughs> okay, get out of here, Pelipper. So this, this gym is going to be funky, huh? We're not going to have, like, sensible teams that are all dragons. 
doubles. There's a lot to think about with them. It makes it difficult, but fun too. I've actually been asking for another double battle gem forever, and we actually got one. I just not who I was expecting. I can see why you managed to make it this far. Oh. Is this just called, oh, is his gym uh, number 0x0? Zero Because zero? that's what it looked like. Camilla? Wait, Camilla? I've had bad experiences with people named Camilla. Um, <clears throat> we need somebody who can better support guilt. Maybe Salive? Maybe Gomo? Maybe Rhaenyria? I don't know. Um, you know what? Let's go for somebody with Earthquake. Which is just Oliver. Eh, we'll, we'll stick with Oliver then. I'm just going to use the super potion on guilt. Because uh, why not? It's giving me the chance. Might as well do it. <clears throat> In double battles, it's important to figure out what role each of your opponent's Pokemon play. Oh, it's me. <laughs> Ninetales and Turtonator. Okay. I like to call this Earthquake. <laughs> In fact, I think I'm just going to Earthquake twice. I don't see why not. I could Draco the Turtonator. I'll Draco the Turtonator just to be safe. I don't want to get Dracoed myself. After all. And then we'll Earthquake and I think everything dies. I know I said that last time, but hey. Oh, you're going to use your funky shield? That's fine. Wait, that doesn't actually set it off, I don't think. <clears throat> yeah, I think you just died. Because that was a special attack. Not what you were expecting, huh? <laughs> Sorry, Turt. Nader. Oh, no. Well, we're gonna have to get rid of that. <laughs> Ow. Oliver used Earthquake. Guilt doesn't get hit. Boom. Ninetales is dead. Perfect. We didn't even take any damage from the burn. <laughs> That's what we call perfect teamwork between Oliver and Guilt. They've been team members together since the very beginning. The weather is fickle. Victory and defeat are even more fickle. Oh, I guess you droughted for your Turtonator. I get you. Fantastic. I can see those seven badges you have well earned. All right. How about girl number three? You made it to the third and last trainer. You moved to shine, Arya. Oh, she's the water one, huh? Was the first one a grass one? No, no. This is the grass one. Gotcha. Wait, there's no grass dragon, though. Unless. <laughs> I guess there wasn't a water dragon either, so. Um, oh, good. I have a Rossberry. Beautiful. I was hoping. A double battle. Do you combine the strength of two Pokemon to push through, or do you have one of them support the other? Let me see what your strategy is. The former. It's the former. It's the former, Arya. It's the former. Obama Snow and Hawk Moho. Uh oh. I don't like that Obama Snow. <laughs> Um, but why does Abomasno support Hakmo'o is my question. <laughs> Hakmo'o is about to die. Um, is Heavy Slam, is Steel resisted by Grass? I don't know. We're about to find out, though. Winning. Done. <laughs> Man, I love this. Okay. Oh, it used Aurora Veil. <laughs> Oops. Might be regretting that move now. <laughs> Probably should have killed Guilt while you had the chance. Boom. Oh, yeah. Now we just Scarf kill it. Ooh, feels bad. And by bad, I mean so good. <laughs> Your Ice type means nothing to me because you made a silly maneuver. Also, Grass does not resist Steel. Keep that in mind. That was super effective. Good night, Obama Snow. Nice knowing ya. I think my double battle dragon team is much better than yours. Wait, who wants Toxic? Go. Hold on, you're telling me Quagsire gets Toxic by level up? Has that always been a thing? I never use Rain Dance. <laughs> I haven't Rain Danced since like the first raid battle I did. It was an overcalculation for sure. Cooperation between trainers and their Pokemon just brings out their strength even more. Do, 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 do. Well done. I'm honored to have battled against such a talented trainer. Hi. 
Nice one, Guilty. You completed my gym mission. Come on, time to head to the gym stadium. You're in the right to face me yourself. This was fast. Let me, uh, let me get a couple Oran Berries in my Pokemon, eh? <laughs> I don't think I have any Oran Berries. But, uh, I actually have no Healing Berries. Oh, okay. I definitely want max HP, though, so I guess we're doing some wasting. <laughs> Alright. Choice Scarf and Assault Vest. We're looking like a competitive team right now. But it's time for the final gym leader. Are we gonna find out what happened with Piers? That's like a cool little town. Hopefully it doesn't get dropped. All right. Finally, a challenger made it. I've been waiting for someone to battle. Though, I've got to admit, I didn't think it'd be you. But I guess I should have expected no less from a Pokemon trainer that Leon saw promise in. And you aim to defeat him. <laughs> Do you have any idea just how high a hurdle that is? As his greatest rival, I guess that I, Raihan, will have to show you. Gym leader Raihan doesn't simply control the weather. He also seeks two-on-two -two battles. You must be prepared for any situation against a foe like him. Will you stop talking in the third person? I like to talk in the third person. Oh. Alright, sure. <laughs> that wasn't as flashy as I was imagining, but whatever. That's more what I was thinking about. Oh, with the Rotom phone circling around him? He just has a Gigalith. Wait, there's the flag on! <laughs> Alright, sir. Alright, sir. You know what I'm gonna do? You know what I'm gonna do? You're gonna sand stream? Oh no, I'm so scared. <laughs> Let the winds blow. Steam forward, sandstorm. Yeah, um. Wax worm? Max worm wind? I haven't even seen this yet. This is a dragon type attack that Dynamax Pokemon use. Lowers the target's attack stat. Ooh. Yeah. I mean, this is gonna Oko Flygon for sure. I can also use Draco, but no. Yeah, we'll, we'll use a uh, Dragon Claw. And then I guess I'll just Earthquake? Actually, I could Heavy Slam. Does it, this... Use a Slam's target with heavy body. The more the user outweighs the target, the greater the lose power. Okay, so I don't want to Heavy Slam a Gigalith. <laughs> I'll Earthquake then. Ready for big, big Flygon? I am. <laughs> I love the glasses. They really do look like the goggles. Boom. Let me show you my dragon's power. <laughs> this is a dream come true. Big Flygon. Wait, he got... How is he faster than this? I'm choice scarfed. Well, that's no good. I guess this is going to lower their attack too, though. Max Worm Wind. Oh, now that didn't even kill. God damn it. Gigalith's attack fell, and Flygon's attack fell. Flygon's levitate. Okay. Okay, that didn't do much. Gigalith sets out stealth rocks. Okay. I'll finish off Gigalith. Uh, you gotta finish off Flygon. He's probably gonna breaking swipe us again, which is annoying, but whatever. Yeah. I guess I'll just have to. Oh wait, I'm not scarfed right now because I Dynamaxed. Oh, so that was a bad choice then. <laughs> I just realized I could pick another move, so I'm not scarfed. But that does mean when I get back down from Dynamax, I am going to be scarfed. Okay. Flag on down. Revenge has been taken. I've got one more turn of Dynamax left, so I better make it uh, worth it. Bursal wants to learn Flail? No, Bursal. <clears throat> what is Body Press? Okay. Why do you have Sandaconda? Hold on. <laughs> That's another one of my Pokemon. You're not allowed to do that. Okay. I'm going to throw out a... A Max Wormwind that's special on this guy, and then I'm going to Earthquake to finish off Gigalith. <clears throat> Big Max Wormwind here. Boom. Oh, Sandaconda is just dead. Okay, cool. So that means all he's got left is his Duraludon, which I know he has because it was in the cutscene at the beginning of the game. And wait. 
Does that mean that it has, it has a Gigantamax form? It could just be Dynamax, I guess, but... <laughs> I mean, Eldegoss didn't have a Gigantamax form. Boom. Dead. Alright, we've pretty much destroyed Raihan with facts and logic here. And by facts and logic, I mean ultimate power by Flygon. It might be impossible to pull off a combo going solo, but it's not impossible for me to win! I don't know, something like that. There's Draladon. It's the first time I've seen it in-game. <clears throat> My Dynamax ends just as his begins. I'm just gonna Dynamax, or I'm gonna scarf myself into Earthquake, because why not? Bring the storm, my partner will send everyone in the stadium flying. <laughs> he takes a picture. Oh my god. That's the, that's the sass I was thinking. Why is he just a building? He's just a building. Just a big building. Okay. It's a 1v2 though. Oh, let's do it. Time for our G-match depletion. The dragon's roar will cut right through you. What does that mean? Uh-oh. Okay, well. Flygon did good, but... That, that reduces our power points? That's annoying. <clears throat> it's a 2v1 battle. This is basically like a raid again. Um, drill run... Uh, yeah, I think we're going to have to go for Drill Run. So you're going to have to see my Sandaconda now. Do, 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 do. Oh no, not the Stealth Rocks. Alright. Let's hit this thing hard again. Yeah, this seems right. Max Steel Spike on... Oh no, Sandaconda, he can live that. She can live that. Sorry, Sandaconda. Sorry, Seville. <laughs> or no, Salive. Oh, man. That was just a bad, bad time. Wait, what did that increase? I didn't look. I think it increases... I thought it decreased our attack. No, Steel Spike increases defense. Dang. Um, one of us is about to die. <laughs> but the other one is about to win, so... We can do it, guys. Max Knuckle? He actually has a fighting type move just to increase his attack. Salive lived. <laughs> well, that was a bad decision. He could have killed at least one of us. And that puts out the sand again. He kind of wanted to use my strategy, which is weird. Okay, well, he avoided drill run, so maybe I guess we did need Earthquake to finish it off. And Salive kind of died from that, but whatever. Draladon's over. Why is Draladon just a building? That's so weird to me. We defeated Ryan. Rhaenyria got some XP. Yeah. Ugh. I might have lost, but I still look good. <laughs> Maybe I should snap a quick selfie. Oh, look at the Rotom. The Rotom's like, oh, it's okay, buddy. Also, it kind of looks shiny. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> In the aftermath of our furious battle, I feel as pure and refreshed as when the sky clears after a storm. That's probably bad wording, considering, you know, the darkest day and all that junk. <laughs> what can I possibly say? Calling myself Leon's rival? Seems I've grown quite conceited for someone who can't even claim the title of champion. Overconfident in both myself and my team. I'll give you what you want, then. Proof of your victory. The Dragon Badge. He's tall. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Got them all. We're really close to the end of this game. But I'm ready. You've collected all the gym badges from the Galar region. Now, win your way through the semifinals and finals for your chance to challenge Leon. You must. You owe us that much at least for beating us in battle here today. Yeah, well, it's not my problem you chose Flygon, you know? That's the only reason I came at you so hard. <laughs> I look forward to seeing how you do in battle. Hi, guilty. Sorry to hold you up, but there's something I forgot. Your TM. First off, as a sign of my respect, here, TM99 contains the move Breaking Swipe. 
It's a dragon type move that lowers attack. It was in the trailers. Don't you like it? Attacks opposing Pokemon, it lowers their attack stats. And secondly, here's the dragon type gym uniform, the mark of true strength. Hmm, okay. Number 15, Challenger Guilty. You completed the gym challenge. Good on you, kid. Now prove your strength to the whole region at the Champions Cup. Ryan, I'm here to see just how good you are. There you are, Leon's little brother. Don't worry, I'll give you a battle that'll make you want to quit the gym challenge altogether. <laughs> I've tried out lots of different strategies, and I've made up my mind about how I want to battle. I'm not going to lose. I'm going to beat you, and Guilty, and even Lee. I'll be seeing you, Guilty. Let's have another epic battle someday. Epic, dude. <laughs> if you're feeling up to it, you might want to go train hard in the wild area. Hmm... Why do you say that, my friend? You beat Raihan just like Leon? Yeah, I did. I beat Raihan. Somebody had to do it. Hey there, Guilty. You gave Raihan a good thrashing, and that means you completed the gym challenge. Congratulations from the bottom of my heart. I really wish we could go celebrate, but I think there's some things we should talk over. Okay. <laughs> okay. That light that covered Hammerlock. It was just like the darkest day where it said the giant Pokemon went on a rampage and almost destroyed the entire Gala region. It certainly seems to be that way, my dear. As you know, we Dynamax our Pokemon today using the energy from wishing stars that have fallen to us. But we still don't know how to fully control the energy behind Dynamaxing or how the two ma heroes managed to do it. In fact, we're not even sure who or what the two heroes actually were. That legendary sword and shield. Sonia, my dearest, my lab coat is yours now. Are you sure, Gran? I still haven't finished the work you've assigned me. Uh, I think if this is something to help you finish that work. Also, I'm very tired and I just want a cracker. I guess you call them biscuits. Oh, look at her go. <laughs> Where'd your coat go? Professor Sonia. Y yeah. The two heroes that protected the Gala region from the darkest day. And the legend of the sword and shield you just mentioned. It's up to you to figure out the truth behind it all. Thank God my lab coat is one size fits all, eh? I know, Gran. I'll do what I can. You or Hop could be the one that take down Leon, and I don't want to miss that. Not to worry, you can count on me to take care of everything. You just focus on getting to Winden. Go on, head to the station or you'll miss your train. Are we really going to do that? Are we really going to do that? Or is it about time we find, finally, the, the the answers to lifelong questions? Like, what is the darkest day, and who is Zamazenta? Who knows, dude? I really like that voice. It, it makes me sad I don't get to hear it more often, because it doesn't really fit a lot of characters. I even kind of use it for Milo, just because I wanted to do it, <laughs> you know? It's really fun. I don't know. Let's go, Guilty. Let's go. Let's go, Guilty. Let's go. Ooh, ooh. Oh, this is a nice train station. I'm sad I didn't come in here earlier. Hey, Hop. I beat Raihan. I had Raihan beat in no time. Once I got my head on straight and stopped doubting every decision I made, that is, uh, <laughs> Every straight, that is. <laughs> you even, you never stop nattering on through the whole battle. You're pretty different from the champion in that. But your strength is genuine. And proven by the dragon badge you won from me. You came at me with all the force of a raging storm, and even I was blown away. Listen up, you two. Battle your way through the Champion Cup tournament to face Leon. One of you oughta. I reckon it's still my favorite to win, but I'm up against my true rival, Guilty. So I'll ring every last thing I learned during my battle to beat. Battle with you, Raihan, to beat him. Let's get a move on, Guilty. The train's waiting. Aww. Oh. <laughs> Feels bad getting beat by two kids right right back to back, you know? Wow, we're back on the train, huh? Kind of want to check out that train station, but that's fine. Well, this is familiar. I never realized your shoes were purple in town now, Hop. We're finally headed for Winden. <laughs> it's London. There's a lot I want to check out there. The big tower and the monorail. The Winden Stadium where the whole of Gala are. No, the whole world is going to be watching us. Fancy. You get it, right? Me and you are going to make our match there the greatest match there ever was. Alright, dude. It's alright. 
Oh, is it snowing? I guess it is, because we're pretty close to the top of the region. wonder why the scenery would appear if all the snow on Route 10 melted away. Oh, right. We're not even at the end yet. The train stops before it gets to Winden. Which is weird, because if it's like the major city of the, the region, you'd think it wouldn't. So this is Route 10. It's like a wall made out of snow. I bet there'll be ice-type Pokemon crawling out of the woodwork in a place like this. Come on, Guilty. Reckon we'll be able to train ourselves up to new heights here before the Champion Cup starts. I believe in myself and my Pokemon on my team. I know we'll get all loads stronger. So I'm off. See you in Winden, mate. Yep, see you in Winden, mate. Two X attacks. Yeah. Some Cub Chew, some Snover. Maybe that Moth thing. That's a Vanillish. I'm not interested in you unless you're shiny, Vanillish. Not today, anyway. Man, it feels good having Flygon beat that other Flygon. Guilt is the only true Flygon. <laughs> Except no substitutes. This guy better not have ice types. I'll be very annoyed. Do you have any injured Pokemon? I'm a doctor. No, I just got off the train. <laughs> and there were no battles on the train, surprisingly, Dr. Graham. Oh, no, but he has a fairy type, so that's just as bad. I don't think I can earthquake this and kill it. I really don't. Should I try? No. <laughs> um, I guess Bursal can come out. Might as well send out Bursal. This is probably going to be my last episode of the night. And Raihan went down way faster than I thought. Um, for, you know, the last gym leader. But to be fair, most of the last gym leaders are pretty well pushovers. Because your team has been put together so well by that point. Um, but yeah. It was interesting. That's for sure. I did like that he's a double battle gym leader. Like I said, I've been asking for another gem, but double battle gym leader since like Gen 5. <laughs> that was when I was like, you know what? Remember Tate and Liza? That was pretty cool. You know? We could go back to those glory days. Oh, it's going to die to hail. Oh, and I got the attack boost too. Wow, okay. Bye, Gardevoir. Are you going to heal my Pokemon now? Is that how you work? Ow. <laughs> Oh, cool. Dr. Graham. What's this? What's this? My Pokemon ended up injured. Will you heal me now? A strong trainer like you has probably seen many injured Pokemon. Must be pretty tough. No, you won't. It's not like the doctors from Gen 5. I'm gutted. What are you and what are you doing? Ah, okay. Made it by. Looks like there'd be something important here, but it's just an Obama snow. That is pretty cool, but it's not important. <laughs> not to me, anyway. Nah, come on. There's got to be a cool Pokemon here, right? It can't just be trash. Maybe it's just trash. You know what? Maybe it's just trash. <laughs> even though I love Vanillux and Vanillite, even I admit that Vanillish is a little bit lacking in a cool or cute factor, you know? Like, Vanillite's cute. Uh, Vanillux is also kind of cute, I guess. It's not really cool. I wouldn't call it cool, per se. This man gets nervous about battling, but Vanillish is just kind of uh, dopey. Weavile, he didn't take his eyes off his phone the whole time. That's very dangerous, sir. I'm gonna get ice sharded if I don't leave, so I'm gonna leave. <laughs> um, 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 I got Metal Claw. We resist ice being a steel type, and then we can just Metal Claw it. It can try to Metal Claw us, but uh, won't do as good when I'm with it. Okay, for some reason it Home Claws up on a Flygon. I feel like Flygon might have gotten some buffs in this gen. It doesn't usually hit this hard, so... Yay! <laughs> okay, now he's Home Claws again. What are you trying to pull, huh? Think you can just Home Claws until the world ends? You could, because it's probably going to happen pretty soon. Man, why didn't you just die from that? Now I have to do the annoying work of sucker punching you. You're just home closing. Will you stop? Will you stop doing that? <laughs> I'm just gonna sucker punch you. Stop! <laughs> the one time I stop is the one time he's going to attack. You know it. I know it. We all know it. <clears throat> My last sucker punch. 
Finally, he attacks. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> uh, there we go. Gomo's level 47. Bursal's level 50. Uh, Claydol. Oh. Hey, Claydol. Uh, just ran out of sucker punches. That's kind of unfortunate. But I guess we have Gomo for this. Gomo hasn't seen the battlefield in quite a while. Even though it was instrumental in a couple of them. You know what I will give this game hyper credit for? Like, it's probably the best game in terms of gym battles. Um, just because all the gym battles and, like, the gym challenges feel like spectacles. They feel, like, important. And they also sort of justified why they exist, too. <laughs> like, in other games, it's like, I, I mean, you're a kid, so you have to do the gym challenge, right? Because you're a 10-year-old. That's just what 10-year-olds do in Pokemon. But in this one, it's like, yeah, the gym challenge is like this big spectacle. The gym leaders are like celebrities. All that junk. Before, it was kind of unclear what the gym leaders even did in their towns. Like, <laughs> Roxy's a rock star. She just stays in her, like, room all day. What does she do? Who knows? When I do business, I'm called a businessman. When I do battle, should I call the, should I be called a battlesman? Yes. Call me Battlesman Flygon. <laughs> oh, wow, comma chard. That's what I like to call money. Sneaky? Oh, no sneaky. This guy's gonna have flying types, so I'd rather fight the other guy. <laughs> like a cop? He actually might, looks more like a postman. He is a postman. He said I'm carrying letters. Postman Harper. Wait, do you have a deli bird? Okay, Pelipper. Oh, that's a mystery dungeon reference, isn't it? Did they really put a mystery dungeon reference in this game? Okay, I like it even more now. Oh, Drizzle. That's actually helpful. Thanks. I can't believe that's a thing. I like it, though, obviously, but I can't believe it. <laughs> I wonder how many people have actually got that reference. Because, I mean, a lot of people have played Mystery Dungeon, but a lot of people don't play it, rec haven't played it recently. Like, a lot of people played Red Rescue Team when they were a kid or something. Um, I personally haven't played it that recently either. Uh, but I did play Gates to Infinity when it came out, which was sort of the reason I haven't played it for a little while. <laughs> um, but I am, I'm one of those people who's like, Man, give us a new good Mystery Dungeon game. Come on. Come on, you can do it. Ooh, a crit. <laughs> Your fault for bringing out Noctowl. I can't believe Noctowl didn't get the Galarian form. That was like one of the only rumors I was like, oh yeah, for sure. Noctowl needs it. I lost. When I think about it, I didn't even want it to ever end. Okay. Sorry, I kind of cut you off when you were talking earlier. But I was just so amazed you were actually a postman. <laughs> I know that sounds, well, it's, it's Mr. Mime, uh, run away before he dances on us. <laughs> hey, do you have any cool Pokemon in here? Tristan, my voice gives me things. <sighs> oh, he's got the, what is that? Oh my God, it's Rapidash. Is that far-fetched? Excalibur is quite restless. That's far-fetched. Wow. There's a Galarian far-fetched. I did not know that. Okay. Um, what else is in here? Oh, that thing from the trailer. That I guess is probably Mr. Mime. Not you, Weezing. Oh, God. Oh, God. Don't look at me with that face, Weezing. I got freaking Marpico's attention. Look at Rapidash! It's not a Pegasus! I'm so sad. Rapidazzle. <laughs> it's not even Rapidash, it's Rapidazzle! Seems worried about its surroundings. Wow, it is very pretty. And it bows to you. Okay. Okay. What are you? Yes, you. Oh, that's Mr. Mime! Is that an evolution of Mr. Mime, or is it a pre-evolution of Mr. Mime? I can't tell. But it's definitely Mr. Mime, because it's dancing. <laughs> is it coming towards me? I can't tell. <laughs> it's kind of threateningly shuffling around. It's actually a lot bigger than it looked in the trailer. 
Rhyme Master is quite restless. Huh. Well, I'm gonna leave now. Um, I don't know a lot about that. Wanna know the secret to making a stellar dish of curry? Add ingredients and berries that are hard to come by. Then try adding something special. Now, if only I could find the most legendary of ingredients. The fabled Gigantamix. Do you have anything about where to find it? Come to my camp and we could swap tales. PP up. Oh, okay. Man. Man. Wow, he can see me even when he's not on screen. That's lame. This will probably be the final battle of the episode, but... Oh my god! Rapidash? It looks a little bit weird, but it's definitely unicorn-like. Galarian Farfetch'd. I wasn't expecting that. But I guess I should have, because we saw Corsola. Like, Galarian Corsola. And it also had an evolution of Cursola. And so, naturally, Surfetch is the evolution of Farfetch'd. It would make sense that there was also Galarian Farfetch'd as well. Huh. That's a bit crazy. But you know what? I like it. I really like the Farfetch'd, actually. Like, I like Surfetch'd. It's alright. But that Farfetch'd is really cool. I can't. I can't, man. And the Ponyta, like, Rapidazzle is cool, too. I like how these evolutions aren't um, just the same thing. It's not exactly what I was trying to say, but you know what I mean, right? Like, Yamas doesn't evolve into Galarian Cofagrigus. It evolves into Runigirus. Runerigus? Runerigus. Um, and stuff like that. Like, they're, they're new. Totally new Pokemon. Just based off an old design. Um, and I like it. <laughs> Although I guess um, Rapidazzle is very close to Rapidash and uh, Farfetch is very close to Surfetch and all this, but like looking at Cursula and um, stuff like that, I don't know, it's different. Is this route basically Victory Road? This feels very Victory Roady to me. <laughs> oh man, I totally forgot about Cursula too. Oh, Darmanitan too! Well, I guess this actually is sort of going against what I was literally just saying, where the evolutions aren't just the same thing over and over. But, I mean, this Darmanitan is really cool. <laughs> what can I say? The hair is a bit weird, but it makes sense why it's there, because it uh, it allows it to go full Zen mode fun, funny times. I'm going to have to switch out guilt. I don't think you can take on Darmanitan. Gomo's at low HP, though. Yeah, we're going to have to try our best. Come here. Oh. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> well, that was unfortunate. That was a very unfortunate chain of events right there. Hey, uh, Salive, want to do that thing you did that other time again? We'll see how well it goes. Oh, now I avoided the attack. Salive just really loves killing Galarian Darmanitan, doesn't it? <laughs> doesn't she? Rather. Okay, you're gonna have to hit more than, uh, more than two times. Well, actually, now you don't. You can just hit two times, but it would be nice if you would have before. <laughs> Taking that into account, you know? Ah, uh, Sleeve. Oh, wow. Yeah, this one's stronger than the gym one. I don't like that. It's also gonna, also, it didn't go into Zen mode, actually. So maybe this one doesn't have it. I really like that Zen mode, though. Ooh. 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 Man, this game has done some cool things. I think the Galarian forms are on it. Well, actually, no. I take that back. I was going to say the Galarian forms are honestly the coolest Pokemon in this game. But I, I take that back. All the Pokemon in this game are cool in their own right. And I think the, um, the designs really show off um, the strong point of the Pokemon Company. Or not the Pokemon Company. Game Freak. The Pokemon Company is... Poopy. <laughs> They're the problem right now. Um, but it really shows the strong points of Game Freak, which is creature design. Oh, Phalanx. I think I should call them Phalanx. Because I think Phalanx is a body part, if I'm not wrong. That sounds familiar for some reason. Here, let me search it up. Because I've been saying, like, you know, somebody's, like, small intestine, some little component of it this entire time. I'll be a bit 
be a bit, uh, I feel a bit silly. Well, apparently it's a World of Warcraft character, so maybe it was that. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think it was that, because that doesn't sound... Oh, God, he's going to close combat me. Aw, oh, man, these things don't evolve, do they? That's unfortunate. I really wanted to see an evolution to this sort of concept. Or maybe they evolve super late, like Bijar? I don't know. This guy's actually giving me the business. I'm not going to lie. I'm uh, a bit in trouble here. Quick Will-O-Wisp. Oh god, they use no retreat. <laughs> That's such a weird move, because that makes them so good. Like, the ability to not switch out, but to be able to set yourself up with a free ancient power boost, basically, which is usually like 10% is pretty powerful. There must be some reason why. Oh god, he just did it again. Oh, you can only do it once. Okay, never mind. That's somewhat balanced then. If you could do it, like, multiple times, it would be pretty bad. <laughs> oh, look at how nice it is when it's not hailing. Too bad it's hailing. <laughs> uh, I wish I had Shadow Sneak on this thing. Stop using that move, it doesn't work. I guess you can't hit me, that's why you're using it. They really didn't give these guys anything to hit ghost types with, huh? I really like those little... Those silly little lads. Okay. Oh god, not grapple locked. Actually, you know what? We're probably the best thing for grapple locked. What was that? Pardon my background noise, but what was that? <laughs> Hey, don't bulk up on me. Stop that. Stop it. Oh, I know what it was. <laughs> it was, somebody was putting wood in the wood bin outside. I think, like, I don't know, 10 to 20 episodes ago we were talking about my wood stove. <laughs> it was a while back. I know that much. I'm a professional at killing grapple oct, though, because I really wanted to catch it. Didn't happen. You can oct lock me all you want. Wait, it doesn't affect me. Why is that? I'm not already trapped, so why doesn't it affect me? <laughs> is it because I'm ghost type? Is grapple... Is octo whatever? I already forgot. Octolock. Is octolock a normal type move? Huh. Weird. Okay. Grapple lock is done. And you know what else is done? This episode. Thanks for watching, Guilty Guys and Gals. If you liked the video, give it a like. It'll help more people see it. You know, I've given you the spiel a few times now. Um, and if you want to see more, of course, subscribe. We're nearing the end. And I'm excited. We got these interviewers to beat up next. They're going to regret crossing me. But i got to go heal first. So <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching again. Have a great day. And bye.